Hey, what's up, everyone? This is uh, Joseph or Jopey, and we're playing some more Kingdom Hearts, as you can see. I mean, we're in the accessory shop, after all. Um, and you might, you may or may not notice anything different, but oh god, sorry, Goofy, <laughs> right up in his grill there. Um, I've actually adjusted the video settings on my emulator, and I'm not sure. I think it looks more crisp. I mean, I might keep it like this. I mean, it's. It's not quite HD remake, but it does look a great deal nicer, I think. A great deal better, should I say. It, lo it looks more crisp and clean. I mean, I've always liked the some, like, kind of like the art style in Kingdom Hearts anyway. So, you know, I mean, if, you know, if uh, I have trouble recording it or whatever, I, could, I can always just switch back to the original PS2 resolution. And as you can see, there's a bit of a graphical glitch on the... Um, command thing, there's a bit of a line going through it, but I'm going to see how it plays out with these nice, new, cl cleaner, more crisper settings. I mean, I'm not, I'm not one to be like, you know, oh my god, them graphics, you know, like, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not that bothered when it comes to things like that, but I do like, you know, this is one of my childhood games, right, so I, d I do like it to look nice, somewhat, not, like, better, you know, somewhat cleaner than I remember. And, um, I really, I really think this is just kind of almost toward the HD remake kind of quality. Not, not quite there. I mean, I'm probably exaggerating massively. I'm probably going to get so much hate for saying that. But, here we've got these synthesis items. Oh, I don't know what to make. First, uh, I'm going to make some of these first. I wonder if we have enough power shards. I mean, I don't think I'll be able to. I don't think I'll be able to make it. I mean, we've got to get those them power shards. And in all seriousness, we are we are actually missing a lucid gem and a power gem. And I and I think I know why, where which world they come from. Oh, we haven't got enough of that. We've got enough. No, we haven't got enough of that. We need more blaze shards. Oh, we can't make any of this stuff. Are you for real? Oh. Make a mega potion. Might as well. Might as well make these things. Oh damn it! All right, and if we talk to him again, do we get any more stuff? No, we've got to, we've got to keep on synthesizing, keep getting those items. And I, I actually honestly thought I was getting a load of items, but that's not the case. So today, I mean, the last world I went to was a big hullabaloo. I mean. I was freaking everywhere. So, this episode we're going to be doing some Travis Town things. That includes synthesis, what I just did, a bit of grinding maybe, uh, postcards perhaps? You never know. I mean, let's look at this. This door, for example, this door's news. Gepetto's house. Oh, Gepetto! And his lovely wooden boy, Pinocchio. Hey, it's Sora! Well, hello, Sora. How did you get here? A man named Leon helped us. He even got us this house to live in. Quite quaint, isn't it? I don't know how I'll ever repay his kindness. Say, I hear you three are fighting the Heartless. I thought I might be able to help you, so I made this. Geppetto. For us? But of course, Pinocchio and I can't thank you enough. We'll do anything we can to help you. And, um, what he gave us was blueprints to make a really good gummy ship. And we got a wishing star. Really great keyblade. Which reminds me, which reminds me, we've got, we got, we got, we got ourselves a, a really nice keyblade. Okay, okay, okay. Still have three wishes. We can get ourselves the Crab Claw, which does nothing really, except it raises our max MP by one and enhances the magic and summon power. Also does good physical damage. So that is, in every way, better than the uh, three wishes, unfortunately. Wishing Star it has a short reach, and it sacrifices a bit of damage, but it lands with a critical blow. So I think this Keyblade would be good for boss fights. I'm not quite sure. I've never really gone towards it. I might, I might give it a look, but for the time being, we'll use the Crab Claw, because that is the better one, and it gives us more MP. It's really useful. Is there any? Are there any postcards in here? Hold on, if I lock on, and I go back, uh, mm, 
no postcards. Damn it. Oh! Yeah, <laughs> see, I remember. I've got a noggin. I remember. I'm studying real hard so I can become a real boy. I'm not fibbing. See, my nose is just the same. I, I, I don't care. I, 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 don't, I don't care. I don't care. Look what I've cooked up this time. Oh, Sid. There you go. Just remember to talk to him twice, because apparently he gives you more stuff if you keep on talking to him. You know? Hello, Sid. I think we'll talk to Sid later. Might do a bit of grinding here. Oh, let's 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 deliver the postcard. Uh, I wish you could get round like that in real life, just randomly going on roofs. Defense up. Oh, we're going to use that on. We're going to we're, we're, we're going to use that on Sora because we're greedy. I mean, you might think I'm greedy, but it it will pay it will pay off. I told, I told you, it'll pay off, right? Because a lot of things in this game you do actually have to do solo. So, you know. Besides, when Donald and Goofy are like level 100, you know, you're not, you're not going to know the difference. They're all, everyone's going to be hench. Everyone's going to be. Trust me, trust me. Usual grinding in this game is. It goes second district. So I'll show you one round of this and then I'll probably. Uh, cut out again. So normally I just do one round of second district, then I go into the hotel and then I go into the gizmo shop and then I rinse and repeat. Oops. Oh no no, no that's not how I, what I do. What I do is I go second district um, second district hotel gizmo shop third district then I go from the third district to the first district, and then back to the second district. Because if you just go, if you're one location away, so say for example, if I go from second district to first district, then if I go back into the second district, then then they won't respawn. You have to be like two two rooms away before it happens, which is always useful. Now I don't want to keep you guys for long. I mean, it is it is a mis one of them miscellaneous episodes, if you will. And I don't think we were a good enough level to do the Pegasus Cup or the or the next world. I think even though the next world has um, a lower battle level, I actually think it's a great deal tougher. I honestly think that. I mean, it has some mini bosses in it, and I think some of the mini bosses are really tough. Wait, wait till you get towards the end of the game. The, this game is bosses galore. This game is so heavy on bosses, and it has some of the best... Not Kingdom Hearts, but Kingdom Hearts 2. I think Kingdom Hearts 2 is some of the most outstanding boss fights going. Just, it's boss fights galore. The Final Mix version has just the most outstanding fights going. Oh my goodness gracious. And I think I've done a couple videos from when I tested from when I was testing um, how my emulator would handle Kingdom Hearts 2 boss fights but those videos are long gone now I've I've gotten rid of those videos because they seem you know they seemed a bit irrelevant so I thought ah whatever but you could tell you could, you could tell I, I'm, I'm liking this new this new, new video setup I mean I, nothing nothing bad's happened it hasn't lagged or anything I think it did lag in Atlantica but I think that's because Atlantica has some sort of like parallax effect in the environment. So I don't really know. If, I don't want to bore you with all these random details, but you know, when you, when you're grinding, you got to ramble. You know what I'm saying? You got you got you got to ramble when you're grinding. You got to entertain. <laughs> you got to entertain. Either that, or I just you know like randomly burst into song. Oh my god, uh, my knuckles are really killing me because, um, you see, I normally go kickboxing on a Friday. Bet you didn't know that about me, I go kickboxing, eh? Hey, hey, you don't want to get on my bad side, if you know what I'm saying? Hey, <laughs> hey. Oh, I am getting a, just a wee bit of frame drop. So we might switch to PS2 resolution as opposed to, um, updated PC resolution, PC Master Race! Not allowed to say that, am I? <laughs> People frown a lot 
they frown. People frown heavily on the whole PC Master Race deal. I mean, mate, I love my consoles, but I love my PC too. <laughs> I mean, what I'd love more, probably my PC, but come on, I mean. I mean, I just, I love my PlayStation. It's got, it's got my, it's got, it's got my Final Fantasies on it. Can't live without my Final Fantasies, bro. Come on. Oh, where's that? There's a tenth postcard somewhere. I think. I think yeah. I think we don't get this until later on. So we're gonna go here. Fight these dudes. And after we fight these dudes, we might go into the third district. And then, after we have another loaded drink, we might, I might just, you know, do a jump cut when I've leveled up and whatnot. But as well, you don't want to see me killing the same enemies over and over again. It's boring. It's just I like, to, I like to show the grinding. I like to show the grinding spots. You know, make it more genuine. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Hmm? So we're gonna mosey on to District Three. I might test out my summons. I don't know. District 3 down here. Oh, District 3, you Cyphosauri. These, these big dudes are nothing. They are nothing on me. You got nothing on me. You got nothing on me. Yo, big dude. Stop eating so much MACDs, yo. <laughs> I'm going insane. <laughs> Oh, this is what it's driven me to. I mean, I've been doing lots of Child of Light. Playing that on Expert. And playing this on Expert. I've got to play something more casual. I mean, you could tell because my voice just cracked just then. i really got to play something more casual. Too much Expert mode going on. What do I have to do to prove myself? You know, I mean, everyone knows I'm just out there to impress David. I mean, David, if you're watching my show, if you're watching, if you're watching this video, if you're watching this video, please, 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 please. 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 Know what I've been through. See me as a as a hardcore gamer, you know? With my Doritos and my Mountain Dew, you know what I'm saying? Let's use some gravite. Oh, let's use summon. Let's summon Genie. Cause he's really cool. He's a really cool summon. Probably one of the best. One of the best, not the best. <laughs> nice one. <Beep>. Nice one. <laughs> and when you lock on. Nice one. He just spams them with magic. It's really useful for waves. This may live a mark. It will indeed. It's really great. See, he made he's made, he made that a, de a degree easier. Oh god, I'm still getting my ass handed to me by this flying guy. Any, anyone else? Anyone else? Oh. <laughs> He was asleep. I just put him out of his misery. So that's that's basically grinding at this point. I just do that. I just do that over and over and over and over again. Anyway, yeah, that's that's uh, pretty cool. I might do a jump cut, and I'll uh, see you later when I've leveled up. Okay, we're back in the first district. I leveled up Sora and Donald. Goofy has yet to level up. We both have an increased HP, which is handy, which is very handy. You know, we're gonna need to be taking more hits. I might buy some weapons for the gang. I'm here to shop. What do you think, Huey or Dewey or Louie? I, I don't know which one of the three you are. Okay, don't don't judge me. Uh, which one are we gonna get? Which which uh, which one are we gonna get? I already got that, for Donald. We don't need the silver mallet, because that's just not good. Hmm. That's no good. Um, we could either get the Geiger's Fist, or the Golem Shield. Oh, but we have a Geiger's Fist already. I think we've got all the weapons we need, actually. Hmm. We could buy some... regular items. 
potions and whatnot. My potions. Oh, I can't believe I have to. Every time you every time you want to buy something, you have to do this. I think. Yeah, that's that's how you do it. You have to go like that. They they fix this in Kingdom Hearts too. Don't worry. Uh, oh look, my friend's playing Gmod. I'm gonna give him a shout out. His name's Hayden. Add him on Steam. That's H A Y D N, and he's playing Gary's mod. In case you're interested. <laughs> Oh, the joys of Steam. I think I bought an appropriate amount of high potions. I've got loads of money to spare. I've got seven thou. I got seven thou, dog. Seven thou. You know? You know what I'm saying? Huh? Seven thousand big ones, boy. I can spend it in the club while I'm sipping burb. Playing Kingdom Hearts. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know what else rhymes. Okay, don't 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 judge me. Uh, I've been playing so many PS2 games. I've been playing a game called Ico or Eco. I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but it's made it's spelled I I C O, and um, it's a really lovely little quaint game. It's got really dodgy camera angles in it though. I'll give it that. Really weird camera angles, and it's the same people who made Shadow of the Colossus. Oh, what a game! Shadow of the Colossus. You. Have it's just such a phenomenal game, honestly. Uh, it's Chaos Rig. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm, I know I'm yawning. I'm not really tired, don't worry. <laughs> don't believe a word he says. Alright, um, Dark. Alright. Is there dark magic in, in that world? I think there's dark magic in the next world, okay? So I'm gonna buy some Chaos Rings. You know, just in case. I think we've got Protector of Rings to go around. Thundara rings, Bizarre rings, and Fire R rings, and rings rings, and ringany rings, all kinds of rings, okay? We haven't got the, we haven't got the big stuff yet, you know? So I should have, I should have saved now, actually. Ah, oh, who cares? Now, we are going to go back to, hmm... We've got some torn pages. We could go back to Merlin's place. Let's go to Merlin's place. In fact... I'm gonna jump cut and I'll see you there. Okay, so we're here. This should be interesting. Oh look, we can use our dive kick ability. How useful. Of, of course it isn't useful. We could swim we could swim anyway. I mean you know, I suppose we're going a bit faster, but seriously. Honestly. <laughs> so here's an ability you can only use in one world, which you're probably only gonna visit once anyway. So, have we been to the Fairy Godmother and given her the gem? I can't remember. I think we have. Y yeah, I don't care if your world's disappeared too. My world's disappeared. I have the bigger burden, okay? Right, so where were we? Where were we? Ah, yes. Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. Jazz hands! Alright. So if you'll notice, a no uh, thing has happened, I think. And we went into that place. Let's read this. A tall curious tree buzzing with bees. Take a look. Why not? Because usually when there's bees that are buzzing, it means that they're making honey. When they're making honey, you know I'll be eating it. I love my honey. Mm, have it on my cereal. Love honey. Beautiful. Whoa. Is anyone there? It's p -p 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 Piglet. Oh my god, he's tiny. <laughs> Never realized how small he was. What am I to do? I'm all alone. Pooh. Pooh. Where are you? It's me. Piglet! <laughs> wow, Sora's a giant. It's <laughs> like Shadow of the Colossus, look. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, 
he was just like, is he there? Is he gone? Is he gone? Is that giant freak gone yet? Uh, basically, we have to approach Piglet quietly, because if we don't, he'll run away. Like what he's doing now. We're gonna approach him quietly. Are there any chests around here? No, I'm just in a pond. Okay. Alright, there he is. There's the piglet. Why did you run? I approached you slowly. Do I have to approach you from behind? What? What's the dealio? Oh, I think I have to approach you from behind. You know. <laughs> really? Don't want to scare the poor thing. I was just, just, never mind. I'm sorry. Don't be scared. You're looking for poo, right? You know poo. Ah. Oh, you see, I, I have something for him. I have to take it to Poo right away. <laughs> there he is! Poo! Yeah, the old sight for sore eye. Oh, I believe I smell a delicious something. A something like honey. Oh, tell me about it, brother. Poo. Hello, Piglet. How have you been? Oh. I'm so glad to see you. I thought you'd gone away. I brought what you asked for. <laughs> Thank you, Piglet. Now I can finally have some honey. Really? But, 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 but how? I shall hold on to the balloon and fly like a bee up the honey tree, see? Seems quite genius, if you ask me. Take their honey. Won't the bees be angry? No, oh, I gotta break a few eggs to make an omelette, Piglet. You know? Oh. Uh, so basically, we have to help Pooh get his honey. Only if I get some honey out of it. If you could only chase away those bees, I'm quite certain I could get a small morsel of honey. Would you help me get some honey? Should I help Pooh? It's like in his head, he's just like, Should I help Pooh get some honey? Sure, maybe later. Sure, okay then. Oh, look, it's Tutorial Owl. Oh, hello there, Owl. Good day, Pooh. What are you doing? Using a balloon to get some honey? Splendid idea. Allow me to offer a few pointers. Um, now Pooh can get honey by floating up this tree with his balloon. We've established that now. The honey's inside the tree hollows, not the beehives you see here. That's... that's odd. I never knew bees worked that way. I don't know. <laughs> I like how it keeps true to the original story, the original A.A. Milne story. I like that. There's quite a lot of honey in these halls. If Pooh gets too close, the bees will come out and protect their honey. If they get to Pooh, they'll pop his balloon, lock onto the bees, and swat them away. The more time Pooh has at each hollow, the more honey he can eat. There's more honey higher up, too. If jumping from the branch uh, proves difficult, just try the rush command. Rush can help you catch up to the Pooh quickly. But if it isn't fully reliable, good luck. It's weird seeing the word rush, because years ago, um, in school, like a few years ago, if anything had the word rush in it, then it meant like beating someone up <laughs> like if we played a game like I don't know if it was like rush football or something oh god I've fallen off already no darn it this is a nightmare this this mini game is really awkward it's a good thing when you hit them you kind of automatically go back oh the high jump are you for real oh that is stupid how the high jump makes it a bit awkward. If if you can, try and take it off. Oh, it makes jumping so awkward. I'm just going to rush. No! We need more honey! We've got a minute and 39 seconds left! Come on, Pooh! Honestly. 
Okay, just wait until Pooh Bear gets a bit higher and then we'll rush. So yeah, like, we played a game called Slap Ball. And there was a variant called Slap Ball Rush, where every time you missed, or like, did badly in said game, you'd get, quote, rushed. <laughs> you'd get beat up, basically. It was always, you know, schoolboy fun, you know, rough and tough. That usual thing. How much honey are we getting? Okay. If this fails, I'm gonna have to get the... No! Damn it, damn it, damn it. No, we need more honey. Come on. This is really difficult, okay? You gotta hear me out. Oh! I can pause and... Okay, let me go to abilities. Uh, let's get rid of high jump. Now I can just go full welly with the jump without missing the branch. Be precarious, poo, okay? I mean, bee bees stings hurt. Bee stings are... Pfft. Yes, just in time. Come on, Pooh Bear. Come on, Pooh Bear. Was that enough honey? Was that enough honey? No! It wasn't enough honey. One page turn to no item. Oh, nature spark. <sighs> Damn it! I'm gonna I'm gonna have to do that again. Oh, the bees are buzzing in the trees to make some honey just for me. The bare necessities of life will come to you. This isn't the Jungle Book. Get a hold of yourself, Joe. Honestly. Yes. Oh no! Come on! Oh, poo is in the way. Don't you dare, bees. Is that enough honey? I don't know, is that enough honey? Okay, just I'm just gonna wait. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, natural honey. I mean, I used to- I had this thing once called honeycomb ice cream. Oh, it's delicious. If you love honey, you love honeycomb ice cream. I had it in Devon. So nice. I loved it. I'm gonna go out and say it's probably my favourite thing of all time! I think I did it. Got 69 honey. Well, that was yummy in my tummy. <laughs> 69 honey! For a bit more. <laughs> that was what we needed. <laughs> that was what we got, rather. Well, I'm glad you're happy, Pooh, with your 69 honey, because so am I. Woo! That was a doozy. <laughs> 69 honey. <laughs> Uh, nature spark. There might be an. Oh, no, maybe later. Yeah, that's the other torn page. But we'll get that another day. Right now, I think we'll exit the map. Where do we do that? Uh, there it is. Yeah, sure, let's go. We've got the nature spark uh, gem. So you can go to the fairy godmother. Wait for it. You go to the fairy godmother. And we've got we gonna ask her to get to uh summon this this here gem for us. And how comes I'm a summoner? Another summon gem. Let's help this little one go. Bibbidi bobbidi boo! We got Bambi Bobby Not the best summon, but still pretty useful, I guess. Uh that's it's been a fun episode. Been a lot more relaxed, and I prefer these really relaxing episodes. Just doing, just getting all these side quests out of the way. It's really that's why you hear me yawn sometimes. I'm just so relaxed. Okay, so uh, please stay tuned, please subscribe, and um, I'll speak to you next time. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot to mention when you come out when you've done fighting in the third district, go into the first district, walk all the way up here, and voila. It's easy. That's why I'm easy. I'm easy like Sunday morning. Even though it's a Saturday, not a Sunday. I'm so weird. I'm such a weirdo. I... <laughs> What's wrong with me?